Come in. Oh, Tom, good of you to pop up. I just wondered if you could let me have a mock-up of your hippo for Friday? I can manage it by Thursday, actually. Thursday? Oh, that's better. Listen, you've seen me play cricket, haven't you? Um. Well, up at Flitwick, don't you remember? It was ten years ago. Yeah, but I played, though, and if I'm not very much mistaken, I made a few that day. One. <laughs> yes, yes. I got amongst the wickets there, didn't I? No, you didn't bowl. You strained your back getting your run. <laughs> I played, though, didn't I? Yes. Would you mind explaining to those children in my office that I still play cricket? Do you? Well, no, but I could if I was asked. Still got the middle-aged blues, have you? Yeah, that's another thing. Uh, Why are they all so young? Why should I be lumbered with running a crèche? Do you really want to know? Yes. All right. Oh, well, um, I want gas if I'm going to have fillings. <laughs> we joined this company, what, eight years ago, wasn't it? And you know something? I was frightened of you then. No, don't mess about. I'll tell you why. You were a better draftsman than I was, and you had better qualifications than mine. I was going to have to rely on pure cunning just to keep up with you. Still, I needn't have bothered, need I? Because look at us. I'm up here, and you're down there. Not getting picked for cricket teams. Why? Because you use about one-tenth of your ability. I have to use all mine, and what I lack, I make up for with sheer bloody crawling. Oh, <laughs> I cannot see the world as a giant plastic toy. How can you seriously make it your life's work? It isn't. It just brings in the goodies. I see, I see. All right, all right. So if I unleash all this dynamite I'm carrying around in me, I'd be up in the seventh heaven on the old sixth floor too, would I? Yes. And let's face it, you might just as well, because you're not going to walk into another job at your age, are you? <laughs> I'll hit you with my crutch in a minute. No, seriously, are you? Listen, mate. Birchinall at Glover's made me a very attractive offer only just recently. Not all that recently. He's been dead for four years. Has <laughs> he? You see, your business mind is just like plastic before it goes into one of our moulds. Formless. You just drift along. Isn't it all funny? Isn't it all ridiculous? Yes, you do. Grown men getting ulcers over toy hippos. Well, it is funny, isn't it? Yes, of course it's funny, but not out loud. Oh. Miss Barton, it is funny, but not out loud. Oh, <laughs> suit yourself. And I'm warning you, Tom, unless you start to take this job seriously... Damn it all. You're not Peter Pan. Do you spare a minute, Jerry? Yes, of course, sir. <clears throat> I want to have a chat to you about our wildlife preservation line. Oh, well, I'll... Um... No, don't go, Tom. I think perhaps Tom ought to sit in on this one, sir. Why? <laughs> Where's he from? Fourth floor. Oh, yes, yes. I'm afraid I don't get out of the fourth floor as often as I'd like. In fact, Tom is our top draftsman, sir. He's working on the toy hippo at the moment. Oh, really? No, no. Now, how's it, uh, uh, Going? Coming. <laughs> well, as you know, the problem with these advanced designs is surface area to weight ratio. Yes, quite. In the case of the hippopotamus, I've stylized the head somewhat to obviate overhang. Have you? So that at the mock-up stage... Yeah, which I've laid on for Thursday, incidentally, sir. Ah. Oh. Yes, Thursday. I'm working on the principle of a 3 by 1.5 base, with a maximum height at the rump of 1 centimetre. Uh, this gives us a box mass of five grams, which is naturally in line with the cereal manufacturer's packet specifications. You know, there's a much better view from the fifth floor. Tom, <laughs> I'd like you to sit in on this one. Now, look here. <clears throat> a bubble has just come off the top of the think tank, and I don't <laughs> mind telling you that this is an absolute blockbuster of an idea. It's going to put our wildlife preservation series in the vanguard of world... And I do mean world mouldings. <coughs> oh, can you guess what it is? Huh? No, you can't, can you? Uh, our next mould is going to be a giraffe. <laughs> you know and Tom, I'm thinking of putting this giraffe on your plate. <laughs> <laughs>
what? I was, I was just thinking of taking a spoonful of cornflakes and finding a hippopotamus in your mouth. <laughs> it's choke a child week, folks. <laughs> Wait till they get to the giraffe. <laughs> Honestly, you should have heard, sir. You would have thought he'd invented penicillin. I couldn't help laughing. <laughs> Did he call you to his study and give you six of the best? No, Jerry told him I had recurrent malaria. <laughs> Did you believe it? Don't think so. So in the afternoon, he called me Mr. <laughs> um again. <laughs> oh, I know I blew it, but... Well, I should think so. I mean, we do have certain standards to keep up. Sanity, little things like that. <laughs> I'd run off with you if you weren't married. I even love your Berica Spain. I'll grow it in the shape of your initial. <laughs> Mind you, it's our future I'm blowing, you know. In four years' time, Brian and all the whiz kids will be up on the fifth floor. Where will I be? Doing a Mr. Chips with a lot of infants. Oh, all right, I mean, the house is paid for, fine, but... Well, when was the last time you had a new coat? Last week. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's... that's... things... Maybe we've never just wanted things. We don't need things. No. We're a very spiritually advanced couple, aren't we? <laughs> yes. <laughs> anyway, you don't make enough for a lot of things. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll tell you what's the bottom of all this. All this it business you were on about this morning. I had a think in the garden after you left. You know, why do you always go into the garden to think? Not having an affair with that gnome we haven't got, are you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just think best in the garden. I well, did you come up with something? No. Oh. That's all right. Hey, I was brilliant at algebra at school, wasn't I? I don't know. I was. Big head. X the unknown. It. In order to track it down, all you have to do is those things you do in algebra. What are they? I can't remember. <laughs> we're both really firing on all cylinders today, aren't we? <laughs> no, no, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You, um... Uh... You put all your known factors down first. That, that's it, that's it. Paper, paper, quickly, woman, paper. Paper, paper. Ah, right, tar, tar, tar. Now, known factors. One. I'll put one. <laughs> JJM Limited stinks. Right, get another job. Two, do not really want a job at all. That's a lot of good, isn't it? Oh, no, come on. All right. Three, do not want to shuffle off mortal coil without accomplishing something. Four, do not want to feel the same way at 41. And uh, now you're getting somewhere. Right, now. J.M. stinks. We don't want that. Don't want that. Don't want that. Don't want that. You've heard of the don't knows. I come across as one of the don't want tos. Well, then, <laughs> let's get positive. All right, new page. File that. Right. Right, one. I want. I want. it. Shall we go to bed? Yes. <laughs> I'll be up in a minute. All right. Happy birthday. Big deal. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>